Uh, we're here at the Newtown Water Pollution Control Authority station with Ann Astorita, who is working with uh, Candlewood Valley Trout Unlimited. And Ann, you're a scientist? Yes. And tell us a little bit about what is happening here, or what has happened so far here today. Well, annually we sample for riffle dwelling benthic macroinvertebrates. And uh, here, this is our 2011 event, and about 15 to 20 people met here today and this morning, and we did a, a quick training session as to what we need to do when we go out and sample the nine sites that are here in Newtown. And then the group broke up into teams and uh, went out to various sites. And what they're doing there is sampling for benthic macroinvertebrates, and it gives a snapshot of what the water quality is like here in Newtown uh, at this time. Uh, are they sampling from all bodies that have contiguous water flow? Um, unfortunately, we don't have enough samplers to, to get that many um, sites. Um, eventually, it would be great if we could. But right now, we're pretty much focusing on certain sites at Kudutuk River and Deep Brook and uh, here at the confluence of Deep Brook and Tom's Brook. And this is a required exercise by the DEEP now? Right. Um, it's not so much required. Um, this is all done by volunteers. The DEEP is required to do um, uh, analysis of the rivers for the, um, the Clean Water Act, the Federal Clean Water Act. And we, um, volunteers throughout Connecticut, not just Kendallwood Valley Trail Limited, um, have volunteered to do the sampling. And uh, Mike Bushin, who's the contact in the state, lets us um, borrow sampling kits, and we, um, we break up into volunteer groups and, and do that sampling. And then we submit everything back up to the state, and then they do their analysis for the, the federal government. Did this um, event today happen to just coincide do you do it on this same weekend every year? Is everybody across the state doing it this weekend? Um, is it most most groups do it in the fall because we've had so much uh, rain and storms. Uh, for originally, we were going to do it on September 10th, but we had that big storm um, right before, so we delayed it until now. I know that um, last weekend Weston did it. I think this weekend um, uh, Housatonic. Uh, Valley is doing their delayed one from last weekend, mm. and I know Pomperog did it a couple of weeks ago too. So various um, organizations have been, you know, getting their volunteers together to do the sampling throughout the state. And how does the science work once the samples come back? Um, we submit our samples up to Mike Machine, and the state entomologists go through them. And what they do is record what we found, and we have sheets that identify the most moderate and least wanted. Um, benthic species, mm -hmm. and by um, the presence of like a snapshot of what species are there, they can make a determination as to what water quality we have. Because these most wanted are um, species that are most sensitive to environmental degradation, um, we'd like to find these, because if we have a presence of these, it means the water is cold and clear and good. Um, the moderate, um, they can live in warmer waters, uh, degraded waters, and cold waters, so it's fine to have these. And obviously the least wanted species, um, we don't like to see them in our water because they can um, thrive in very um, uh, water that has less purity, cold water, okay. degraded water. Okay, and um, w it, is there once all this information is compiled, say uh, there there is a, a trend against previous tests of a growing preponderance of the less desirable sample uh, critters. Right. <laughs> uh, what what would happen? Not that that would be the case, but right. if it if it does. Um, what is the course? Is there a course of action that can yeah, be taken? The state will come down and take a look uh, more closely at which rivers, say for example, one of our rivers showed a, a real decrease in the amount of most wanted species. They would come down and take a look at what, what, what has changed. What could, if there's some kind of effluent, if there's more development. Unfortunately, some certain types of development um, can cause there to be more warmer waters. And they would just take a look at it and they would probably offer um, some suggestions as to what to do to improve. So far, um, I mean, we haven't gotten the results yet, but in previous years we've, we've been okay with it. Um, so I'm hoping that this year too we'll have positive outcomes. And are, this, are all of the sampling areas consistent year to year? There's a minimum number of required sampling locations that you try to yeah, meet? We, we try to do nine locations and, um, and right now we don't have that many volunteers this time because of our delay. But uh, we'll get to them this weekend and we'll, we'll submit those up.